what is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys i've been waiting for this one i'm not even gonna lie to y'all uh season one episode two the great norwegian adventure uh also alt for no i get i don't know i think i said it right uh, um i told you i'll be doing these every sunday um yeah every sunday they own patreon first you know patreon is a dollar uh I do comment my Patreon so y'all can see that, or I'll just show it up there too, Darta Traveler. But shout out to Fun in Norway. Make sure y'all subscribe. They hit me up, and they put all the all the episodes I needed on a channel and on their channel, and had the English subtitles for me so I can know what they're saying in Norwegian. So that's that's pretty cool. I appreciate you. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe uh to their channel i'm already getting a thumbs up and stuff so y'all make sure y'all do the same as well so i thank thank you because i i enjoyed this one i'm not gonna lie i like this one you know don't get me wrong i like i like the sweeter one shout out to sweeter you know all i love it more you know get the history lessons of sweden uh, this one i ain't gonna lie they having a little bit more fun over here in norway i don't know you know sweden is more reserved norway like we turning up we turn it up a little notch and the soundtrack is crazy the the soundtrack i'm like dang i know all these it ain't no you know traditional norwegian songs they, they you know they jamming on here so i like this one now we get to see i'm guessing some challenges because i don't feel like they really didn't do i don't think they did a challenge the first episode so this episode they're probably gonna do some challenges and somebody gotta go home so let's check it out Low. That's why I knew what that building was. <laughs> I'm saying a Burger King. Uh, the city's beautiful. It's a little different. The buildings are only like three stories tall. It's really weird. We're used to uh, <laughs> skyscrapers and the yeah, just different streets. It's weird, but uh, it's pretty neat. <laughs> I like it. Before I came here, I didn't quite know what to expect, and I get here and it's just wide open spaces and water and really clean streets. Oslo besøket er extra speciellt for Joseph siden hans olde föräldrar utvandrade oh, okay. ut so from Oslo. I think I know my ancestors were from Oslo. McDonald's back then. And they came okay. to Ellis Island. So it's really cool to be here where I'm where they were from. Besöket nice. får Joseph till att tänka på den delen av släkten hans som fremdeles lever i Norge since they were the roots that stayed in oh, Norway. Nice. It'd be interesting to see how much they actually know about our history. <laughs> and then also see how different they are growing up in a different culture. Maybe one of them's a wrestler, maybe one of them plays sports, who knows? Hopefully some things are answered as far <laughs> as who I truly am, you know, and where I come from. I would love my son to meet the roots of Norway. I named him Gavin Thorofrud after his great grandfather so i'd like to nice. introduce him to some norwegian cultures experiences and hopefully introduce him to his long last family as well that's nice flannery finner seg også raskt til rette i oslo guys shopping oh yeah she excited yeah, she was about to go perfectly your eyes would absolutely <laughs> pop i must have it right now <laughs> Fresno, she an expensive part of Cali. I am an image and wardrobe consultant, and basically that means I help people to look better. Hi, I thought you? they already showed her story. Okay, let's see what we have here. This is not a good color on you. I help people to define she dumped their her whole closet. personal style through a process of eliminating a lot of what they have in their closets. This one looks a little outdated. Definitely no. <laughs> 
And after I remove about 80% <laughs> of their wardrobe, then we go shopping to fill in the blanks. Let's go shopping! Empty closet now. Ooh, Ooh that totally bought out your on. cheeks. That your is cheeks. so cute! <laughs> Okay, so we should probably hook up with the rest of our peeps, don't you think? <laughs> Cheating got carried away with shopping. Uh, welcome to the capital of Norway, my Thank hometown, you. Oslo. Yay! Yay! What do you think of it? We love it. It's beautiful. 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 Well, in Oslo, Norway, you have to prove that you can fit into Norwegian culture. And this week is all about the Norwegian National Independence Day. 17th of May. Yeah. Ah. 17. of May is the Norsk of all days. On this one day, we drink 4 million liters of juice and eat 16 million pulses. Dang! In addition to that, the pollen season is so long, and that the Iberia-smiles are after in to the Norsk hagen, is this also the year when the Russian is out of the gate. The Russian is, as a rule, red or blue. They are still sitting there, and they like to take a little bit of a little bit of a little bit. Russen drikker seg ofte full, og sosiale sammenkomster foregår stort sett i parken og i gangen. Russ er et særnorsk fenomen. Nordmenn må innom i ungdommen. Siden amerikanerne skal leve som nordmenn, må også de gjennomgå en ordentlig russetid. Nå er du dividet inn i to team, og du har allerede gjort din outfit. Du ser bra ut. Alt for Norges første lagkonkurranse går ut på at deltakerne skal prøve seg som russ. Nei, nei, even got better uniforms when they copy! Flest mulig russeknutter. Alle på laget som vinner er trygge. Det er på laget som taper vi finner deltakeren som til slutt blir den som sendes hjem, og så med det mister sjansen til å møte sin norske slekt. Well, of course, I want to be the winner. I want to win because I get to meet my family and see what I would call my home. I want to win, I want to meet my family, I want to make it to the end, and I'm going to do everything it takes to do that. Rødt lag består av Joseph, Grant, Flannery, Signe og Maja. Det blå laget er Clinton, Doug, Carl, Debra og Matt. Pretty even teams here. And to help you, we brought in the real experts. Oh, snap. And then these two crazy party buses rolled up on the lawn of the royal palace. <laughs> Nothing of that sort would ever happen in the United States. I thought At we all. might get into some kind of adventure that might be more than I bargained for. Uh-oh. Oh! People on those buses. I was a little nervous because I've seen the kids around town wearing the Roos outfits, I thought, oh no, I don't really want to get involved in this whole thing. <laughs> the blue team, you're with the girls. That means that the red team are with the boys. Is anybody here from Texas? Texas. Hey, everybody love Texas. Oh, you know. Everybody love Texas. No way I didn't, you know. I guess y'all got a love for Texas out here. You guys have the best bus ever. That is a different type of bus. I ain't never seen that. So you guys have been competing already and you know what it's like to win. So what do we have to do to win? Get drunk. Get drunk? And then we gotta win. Amerikanerne aner ikke hva de skal ut på, og blir ikke beroliget av forklaringen av knutereglene. You have to drink a pint of beer while you're peeing. Number seven, make out with a russ of the same sex. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Obviously, being a lesbian, making out with someone of the same gender, that's easy. Not a big deal. You have to go to the other bus. Don't you got a girl out? What the? Those are children. That's cheating. Um... Number 11, eat the burger in two bites. We can do that. Oh, he can do it. Joseph got that. I think the whole roost celebration is very strange. I really don't get it. Um, number 12, drink a bottle of wine in 20 minutes. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we can do funny, it. Man. We can do it. Okay, Come on, okay. Team. Yeah. It's, it's funny because the girls like, yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got encouragement it. for kids to do behavior that is, I think, immoral. Yeah, as a pastor, <laughs> I had to think about what would I do that wouldn't embarrass the church. And so I had to think about where would I draw the line. What am I willing to do? What can I do? <laughs> Hi, I'm Grant Ossing. I'm a Norwegian-American. I'm a Lutheran pastor. Told y'all, the Norway be turning up. Now, when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from... As a minister, people have high expectations for my behavior, and I'll have to be a bit careful in Norway, drawing the line between what I'm allowed or what I think is right and what is not. Den første knuten det røde laget skal prøve sig på. Er and maybe he can do like the eat and stuff. Let him eat. You know, we gotta, re- gotta respect what he does. No, we're not allowed yeah. to use a fork. What is that? I can't do that. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah, dang. Beat Pastor Grant, and you beat her, and then we'll all be done. Dang, he didn't drop it. Oh, no. Oh, at least he did eat. In there. <laughs> well, he picked it up. <laughs> I'm sure we looked really amazing. <laughs> You'll get rejected at the uh, I guess he did. <laughs> we are all sinners. We are all <laughs> Joseph finished his for real in two minutes. Oh, no. <laughs> Pastor Grant is some stiff competition, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, wow. Real, he will do pretty much anything, yeah. <laughs> Which is cool. I like pastors that keep it real. Yeah, that's wild. I wonder what the other Samtidig team is up to. Samtidig har det kommet godt i gang med knutesankingen. Godt hjulpet av jentene på bussen Woodpeckers. I thought our girls maybe would be, you know, too busy with their makeup or something like that. But, ah, uh, let me tell you, Woodpeckers rock. <laughs> he didn't talk about them. Okay. They're doing it on the bus. <laughs> I had so much fun with the Roos. Uh, actually, I can't remember the last time I had that much fun. I truly sure appreciate <laughs> the opportunity to uh, get to experience that. I want to win. Who we'll win? win? We always win. The girls always win? Yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, I really hope that uh, I'm on the winning team. To meet my family <laughs> is uh, very, very important to me. That's fun. I really want to win. What's all this hat? Oh, the tap. Mister Knute goes out to that they should kiss a medrus of the same gender. No Americans have big expectations. Ready? One, two, three. You can do it, please. Yay! Good job. I made out with Flannery, but she's such a <laughs> she's such a prude. She wouldn't just kiss me. She was like. Like that. No, you guys, your turn to make out. See, it wouldn't work. Is it Why not? Because. Uh, uh, hey, we did it. Now you guys have to do it. <laughs> I am a married woman. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. <laughs> For the team. Why did it have that? Joseph set the grenzen ved kyssingen. Det vil det ikke være med på. Sure, I want to win this contest and I want to meet my Norwegian family, but there is a line that I won't cross. If I have to make a mockery of of my profession, my church, I, I won't cross those lines just yeah. to win this contest. For the team, for it points, anything. Do it. 
<laughs> he said, nah. Flannery was kept pushing me, saying, come on, you can do it, you can do it. At the same time, I know everybody had their limits. And Flannery, I know she can't eat tons of food, so to ask her to do what she can't do, there was no point in doing that. Everybody did the most they possibly could, yeah. so I, I feel good about our effort. I feel like he did uh, he did quite a I bit. I was extremely excited to see how younger kids interacted and to see how different they were hey, to lean with it. Rock in the with States. It because in the states when you're 18 you're, you're a, not allowed to drink almost a doggy. but here in norway when you're 18 uh all hell breaks loose <laughs> 20 minutes a burger and two bites Drive 10 laps, dang. Joseph har lenge strittet imot, men siden det er mye som står på spill, bestemmer han seg til slutt for å kysse en russ av samme kjønn. Nei. You gotta help the team. Og Maja forsøker å bruke sin kvinnelist <laughs> til å overtale noen til å bli med. Can we ask you a favor? We, if you he gets him? a point kiss? for us, if you kiss him, yeah. we're trying, to, have to, be we're trying to win. I got a girlfriend. So <laughs> no, I know, I know. <laughs> I like this. Yes, come on. Joe! Where Joe! Oh! Joe! Oh! Ho, ho. <laughs> Just go like this. Just go like this. Oh. Oh. Can I say it to TV in Norge that I'm not gay first? Yes, yes, yes! One! Two! Three! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Red. What is that smell? Red! What's that smell? Red! If anybody acted more like a true The blue team roots, gonna be good, dude, because they got hard. one of the guys. I chumped those beers. I did everything I could. I even danced. And I don't dance often. <laughs> we see why. Tiden er ute, og amerikanerne får ikke lov til å samle flere knutter. Det skal kåres en vinner. I don't know how I didn't even... I don't At know how first, they kept up with this. I just have to say that I'm really impressed by all the crazy stuff you've done today. <laughs> now it's time for me to collect your hats. Det samlede antal knuter på hvert lag avgjør hvem som vinner. Uh oh. Every year, one person is elected president of all this madness. And uh, to help me, I have this year's uh, Russe president, Rikke Jordbrek. I'm just here to make sure everything is fair, and uh, by the looks of it, you have been pretty busy today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have. I'm impressed. So we're going to go and uh, discuss a little bit now and count your tokens. <laughs> so uh, see you soon. Uh-oh. We competed our heads off, every single member of our team, and I really have a good feeling about <laughs> they look, it. I think they that look we it. have a great chance of winning. I really want to be on the winning team. I am not ready to see this end yet. I really want to make it to the end. Dang, he's about to cry. They ain't even decided yet. We have the results. Okay. Madam President, the results are so even, it's incredible. It's just one the red token team won. indifference. Are you excited? Yeah. The red team? You have incredible 44 tokens. Whoa. Okay. But the blue team, you have 45. Whoa, day. Dang. I feel like they showed more of the red team. Oh, they would have won. To prove yourselves as true Norwegians. And tomorrow you'll get to enjoy a traditional Norwegian 17th of May celebration. And red team, tomorrow you'll have to compete in an individual challenge. Uh oh. Okay. While we were waiting for the results, I was really, really hoping that we had won. And I actually thought we had won because we did so That's much. Still pretty close. And then I was very disappointed when I found out that we lost by one point. Dang. Why are you crying? I don't want to see it. Fuck. It bothers me. I don't want to see any of you guys go. Thanks, Dad. 
Seriously. Yeah. Dang. You're a good guy. Etter pausen får vinnerlaget oppleve en ekte norsk 17. mai. Oh, that is cool. I feel Norwegian now. Oh, they're in the parade and everything. The Stapelag gets one last chance to prove that they can celebrate National Day as Norsemen. And so I want to meet my family, so please help me. <laughs> horrible! That was a horrible nightmare. Uh -oh. I almost was afraid I was going to cry. I mean, I, it, it, right now, it, it makes me... <laughs> Dang, he cried. That was an interesting challenge. Get drunk? And then very interesting. Før pausen så vi at amerikanerne samlet russeknuter. The results are so even, it's incredible. The red team, you have incredible 44 tokens, but the blue team, you have 45! Det røde laget tapte, og det mappes mulig margin. It bothers me. I don't want to see any of you guys go. I really don't. Appreciate that. Det er tidlig morgen 17. mai, og etter en hard natt til russebussene har ikke amerikanerne sovet mer enn snau ut to timer før de blir vekket som en fint blir vekket på nasjonaldagen. Time to wake up. What is that racket? <laughs> oh, <my grief. laughs> Check it out. <laughs> I wonder if it's typically Norwegian to Dang. cure a hangover with marching band. <laughs> <laughs> Like, For å komme i 17. mai-stemning har vinnerlaget fått utdelt bunader fra det stedet familien deres kommer fra. Oh my gosh. Is this a pirate outfit? Haha, he said a pirate outfit. Congratulations, this one's for you. This one's for you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Are from Rogaland? Rogaland. Song of Fjordan. This is traditional garb oh. from where our ancestors are from. Yeah. No way. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. How fun is this? Congratulations, Doug. Your ancestors are from Rupland. Today you oh. were a uh, Boonai from... You might be oh, related to cool. the other guy. That is really cool. Um, I didn't realize there was actually different places that had different costumes. That's really cool. I feel Norwegian now. Finally. I mean, like, a real Norwegian. I'm ready to go. Getting my Brunard <laughs> outfit was, uh, it was special because it represents uh, part of my ancestry and, and where they come from in Norway. Oh. Oh, my God. That's pretty cool. Is that a hat? I 
I ain't find out what you look like at 42. Interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot that only the winning team got you. It's like you're like the royal family or something. Like we should do something like proper when you sit down. Amerikanerne spiser en traditionell norsk 17. maj-frukost för gårsdagens vinnerlag drar för att fira nationaldagen i Oslo centrum. Tapelaget får inte vara med, men måste förbereda sig till en individuell konkurrens. Oh, they are already going into their competition. Det är så att de är i stånd till att fira 17 maj som äkta norrmän. Den som gör det dåligast i denna konkurrensen är ute av allt för Norge. I was very jealous that the blue team got to go out and just have enjoy their day and knowing that we have to compete against each other. And I go right into it. Kampen Elementary School. Thank you. Thank you. Local schools are a very central part of our National Day celebration, and that's why uh, this week's final challenge takes place here. You now have two uh -oh. hours to learn the Norwegian national anthem. Ooh. And when you're done rehearsing, you have to perform it in front of a crowd of Norwegians. The anthem, not in English, in Norwegian. I was like, thank goodness, Dang. <laughs> if I don't ace this, I'm going to go commit suicide. She should definitely I'm win. <laughs> I was very nervous. Everyone Dang. here seems to have some experience with singing in the past, and I haven't. You'll be oh, judged yeah. by a famous Norwegian artist. Please welcome Eurovision Song Contest finalist and hostess, Maria and Kaipo host? Sturing. Maria. Yay. What the year was she on? The national anthem is not an um, easy song to learn. But you will not be judged by the quality of your voices. You will be judged by the following criteria. It's pronunciation and words, melody, feeling and performance. Well. You can ask any one of the locals here to help you out with learning the song. But uh, you have no time to waste, so get to work. Dang, I would have been like, can y'all write it down? Okay, Elsker, Elsker, they... Oh, they got it. Tinker. I have no idea what this means. I need help. Yeah. That sounded better than the first lady. Did that say Lonette? So what do I have to do? I mean, because I'm scared. Okay. Don't be nervous. Okay. Look <laughs> uh -huh. And don't think about them. Just pretend that they're not here. Pretend they're not here. Just the thing. I kids be telling the truth now. Here. Just you. I feel better knowing that you guys are here. Kids tell the Thank truth. They'll guys. tell you if you look ugly or not, too. Can you help me with my song? I have to learn this to sing in front of an audience. Okay. What does Varbit mean? Furet and Varbit. Furet Varbit. Oh wow. No. Yeah, probably I shouldn't have gone to a lady in a hijab for my first <laughs> first contact with Norwegian diction. <laughs> I mean, she We are Americans. All of us Norwegian. have some Norwegian ancestors. Whoever wins gets to meet their family. Uh -huh. And so I want to meet my family, so please help me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Paul, vor, far, or mor. I don't know what those. About. We think about. Our how, father and our mother. Our father. Oh, mor is mother. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, more, yeah, more. Is that the same? Mor. I did not know what those words more, were. More, more, grandmother. Father and mother. Oh, I get it. This is about my family. Quite a poetical. Very poetical. Yes. I love it. Yeah. I also have a father in law who was sang in a Norwegian men's chorus in Minneapolis for many years. And they mm -hmm. would sing Norwegian songs all the time. But they always started their concerts with Ja Vielsker. Um, I love my father in law. He was so proud of Norway. And everything about Norway is wonderful. Norway is the best. Norway is great, you know. And he would sing that song with such pride. Yeah. I, you know, he should do I good just because he's a pastor. They sing. Him sometime, but I and the other did. girls should I do good. I guess today I realized it's not just the sitting to my that made me feel special. It was remembering my father in law who died a couple of years ago. And when I first started to, to practice the song, I, I started getting choked up because I, I realized that that's what I associate that song with. Not not just Norway, but with my, my family.
Vinnerlaget drar ned til Karl Johans gate og får muligheten til å oppleve en ordentlig norsk 17. mai-feiring og alt det okay. innebærer. Gratulerer med dagen, Sognefjorden! He's looking at you like, do I know you? Uh, <laughs> my cousins! <laughs> Celebrating I, 17th of May in Oslo. I think I've I seen this a video. What an amazing this. experience it was going to be because it was just mind blowing. And the a children long in their ago, yeah. they were so dear. I've seen this a long time ago. Celebrate Norway or something. Else. This is freaking awesome. Yeah. We should join the parade. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Let's go. Come on. Are you guys serious? Yes. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Oh dang! I didn't know. Bit and uh, made maybe one or two people a little upset, but uh, it was kind of fun being sneaky. I felt like that <laughs> was all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the royal fan? I thought it was really neat to be able to wave to the king. I didn't really think it was going to be that big of a deal. It was just kind of a, a sense of awe set in over all of us wow. and uh it was really really neat oh, king! My king! dang oh my gosh you guys that was absolutely that was so cool that was so <laughs> it's something that in america we don't really have the opportunity to do to wave to such a high figure of authority within a country yeah, the and to be able to walk directly under the balcony of the royal palace and just look up and just wave and have them wave back it was something that i'm r never going to forget that was so cool we just <laughs> snuck into the parade <laughs> i don't think i've ever seen a king before they have no time of their lives. Tilbake på kampen skole er det like før fremførelsen av nasjonalsangen, og nervene er i uh -oh. I was very nervous before today's challenge. I don't care if it's like one person or a thousand people, I always get stage fright. So we have flyttet over ti deltakere hit, oh, som like skal få lov å kjempe finger. om å vise seg selv som den beste og mest ekte nordmannen. Because I knew that I didn't have uh -oh. a background in music or singing ability, I thought I would just try and use my charm and just go for it. I am really, really excited to hear your interpretations of the Norwegian national anthem. Uh-oh. Are you ready? All right. Uh, first contestant is Signa. Give her a big hand. Oh. My fellow contestants think because I'm an actor, that like I can get on stage and it's I'm not nervous and it's gonna be cool. always butterflies always. but I was petrified I think she will do good she's gonna do good though she said just look at us okay Okay, she did. <laughs> the kid in the back looked like he was saying it. <laughs> There's the kid in the back. Look, he looked like he was saying it with her. Oh, they are. <laughs> oh, man. Kids are funny. Oh, she was good. Very good. She did. Very good. Okay. I love it. Oh, thank uh, you. Oh, my sweetheart. He's the one that was boosting her up. Hey, everybody. I just want to say a little something before I start. This is actually the first time that I have ever sung outside of my shower. So if you <laughs> could all sing along with me, it might make it a little bit easier for me. Is that something you can do? Somebody said no. 
He raised his hand and said it was me. You can't hear her. <laughs> I could even hear it. I didn't think it went very well. I had no idea about really even how to hold a microphone. I didn't know how loud the music would be. I didn't know if I, if people would be able to hear me because I couldn't hear myself. Horrible! That was a horrible nightmare. However, Dang. afterwards, everyone told me that they were surprised at how well I did. So that made me feel good. Oh, <laughs> Next okay. contestant is Rand! Woo! Woo! I felt like I get to do this, not I have to. No, I get to sing for a Norwegian sitting in my celebration, and I, I just took that as a great honor. He's a pastor. Most pastors sing, I think. Okay. Oh, he know a little Norwegian, too. Thank you so much, Grant. Uh, next runner-up is Maya. Maya. Yeah, that was emotional. I mean, I've always wanted to sing that, and here's my first time doing it on Sit in in front of all these Norwegians, and I almost was afraid I was going to cry. I mean, I, it, it, right now, I mean, it makes me... <laughs> <laughs> my my father-in-law used to sing that song, and I never got to sing it with him. Nay. At least he know it now. She, she can sing. Okay, okay. Joseph's going to be interested. He's a big guy. Very good, Maya. Thank you. Last but not least, please welcome Bravo. Joseph. Wait a minute. Joe was very nervous also because I think, like me, he doesn't really have much of a singing background. Somebody didn't. She didn't go. She didn't go. Okay, he did pretty good. <laughs> Thank you so much. I probably thought he was the big show out here. Amazing job, you have a stood up That one lady didn't go. Så er det opp til Maria Hauko Storeng å avgjøre hvem som gjorde det best, og hvem som må forlate alt for Norge. Hello, oh, she on the other team. Hello. Hello. How are you guys feeling now? Anxious. Really nervous. nervous. Maria, have you reached a decision? Yeah, I have. Oh, man. First of all, I would like to compliment you for taking this performance as seriously as you did. However, one of you will have to leave today. Grant. You really seem to understand what you were singing and hardly ever looked at your lyrics. Mm. Congratulations. Thank you. You are safe. Nice. Okay. <laughs>
That's good. That's good. Maya. Uh oh. Your pronunciation was impressive, and you made wonderful contact with the audience. Congratulations, you're safe. Sina. You performed the song with great spirit and a lot of energy. Congratulations, you are safe. Uh oh. I know I knew it was gonna be with him. Oh. Joseph and Flannery, please step forward. Uh oh. I don't want to see Joseph go yet. You had a great start. Like. But you had problems and trouble with remembering the lyrics and the paper actually stole your attention. Dang. Flannery. You also had a good start trying to interact with the audience. But you forgot some of the lyrics and at the end we could hardly hear you. I don't want to see Joseph so, go. Joseph. I'm sorry. But I don't think I'm able to let the audience down right now. Congratulations, you're through. Oh, I thought Sorry, she was saying Flannery. he was gone. Flannery, that means that you have to go back to the United States. Okay. Hmm. Dang, I, I thought she <laughs> I thought she was saying Joseph was gone. Sorry, Flannery. Oh, thank you. You know, I you know, I feel I felt bad for her. I put myself in her shoes because I knew the one thing I didn't want to do was be the first person to go home. So I, it yeah, wasn't a very nice tough. feeling. Nah. It's really sad to have to say goodbye to one of our contestants. I really like Flannery. Yeah, no, she, she just nice. added a touch of class to our group. Yeah. So I'll really miss her. She brought Grace. something different Stunning to the group. Stunning looking singer. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. I told you earlier, but you got some cojones on you to get up there and say. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, Flannery. Thank you. Good job. I'm going to miss everyone on the team, definitely. They've all been fun, but I have a whole new group of friends now, so that's good. That's nice. I'm really disappointed that I don't get to meet my Norwegian family. However, I definitely plan to come back to Norway. Maybe they get to leave with it. something. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, and I, I really want to show my husband and now i know so much about the country i feel like i can give him my own personal tour so i think that'll be nice that's nice bang in sweden they get the lead was the the envirende deltagerne samles til en grillfest i god norsk 17. mai tradition Congratulations! Oh, you. you have now passed the first task to prove yourselves as true Norwegians. Thank, thank you. you. It's now time for the Norwegian Spirit Award. We've been uh -oh. looking for a person that Somebody has been willing to sacrifice everything for the team and to stay positive through it all. It has to and be the, the pastor. Gets diplomatic immunity in next week's competition. Actually, you've all fulfilled these criteria, but there has been one person that took one step further and uh, really went out of his oh. comfort zone. <laughs> so, Joseph? congratulations, Joseph. And he was almost at the brim. <laughs> and Joseph, next week, he didn't even like think others, I could get the little spirit. So, <laughs> Dang. I am so excited that I'm not going to be leaving here next week. You know, this week we were in Oslo, and I feel close to Oslo, you know, with my ancestors coming from Oslo. Uh, just means the world. Very interesting episode. Next week, the Norwegian adventure for the Americans. Not a pig. What? They will try to live on land and show that they can live as Norwegian bønder. What? Deltagerne våre utsettes for de drøyeste prøvelser for å finne sin indre nordmann. Du slipper lett unna. Prøv vår uhøytidlige test for å finne ut hvor norsk du er på TVNorge.no. 
Uh, I wonder what other shows they got on there. But no, this was good. This was good. A very interesting episode right here. Very interesting competition. But like I said, they they turned up a little bit more in Norway, here in Norway. But I enjoyed this. Like I said, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to Fun in Norway. Uh, this is where I'm going to be watching the episodes and stuff like that. Um, let me let me comment so they can know I did. So they can know I watched it. You know, you make sure y'all leave a comment. Just be like, just watched with Dar or something like that. So, but that's cool. I appreciate you for doing that. I mean, y'all see it just one day ago. They just hit me up a day ago. Like, hey, I'm uploading these now for you. So I appreciate that. But nah, this one, this one is fun. Happy to see what more is in store. Hate to see somebody go. But, you know, that's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. But this is on Patreon. Patreon is below. So y'all make sure hey, go to the Patreon. Want to see the unedited versions and all that stuff. But that's all I have for this video. Hit that subscribe button. Y'all be blessed. Be the best to be you. I'm out.